The collection was inspired by some photos we saw that Ryan McGinley took of his friends in upstate New York, and they, the light is beautiful. They're just really carefree and spontaneous, and it made us think of those vintage corduroys that you see, the perfect fit at a secondhand store, and just wearing those and running around with your friends all day. It's a seasonless, casual fabrication that can be worn so many different ways. Working with Opening Ceremony was really wonderful because there's just this really sort of wonderful spontaneity and freedom that comes to working with someone that's so, that's such a free thinker and so open to these ideas. We have so many vintage corduroys in our archives and the colors are amazing. We started with the concept of the 505, which is a slim leg, a sort of high waist and a nice square top block, but we did some alterations to really get a feeling of a shrunken down, um, worn in corduroy bringing two iconic things we have, corduroy and the 505 together, and it just becomes, it becomes something new and something modern. Most people are very surprised when I tell them that Levi Strauss and Company has been making corduroy clothing for over a hundred years. From the turn of the 20th century until about the 1950s, corduroy clothing was meant to be this very fine uh, business wear. And then you get into the 1950s and suddenly corduroy is becoming also, like denim, leisure wear. Boys only wearing cords to school um, instead of denim was something that moved from the 50s even early into the 1960s. And Levi Strauss and Co. started to make some very slim fitting corduroy um, five pocket pants for young men to wear to really meet that need. People wanted color in their pants as well. That was the thing in the 70s, was to wear bright colors or really, really rich colors. And that's what corduroy gave them. Corduroy wasn't just for men and wasn't just for pants. Levi's for Gals was our junior uh, girls wear that we started in 1968. And we made incredibly beautiful, especially corduroy jackets for young women in the 1970s. And we also made Sherpa-lined corduroy trucker-style jackets in the early 1970s for young men. I think what's interesting about it now is that it's still seasonless and I think people have forgotten that and I think it's important to remind people that corduroy can be worn year round. It's a great way to bring color into your wardrobe without forcing something in. Like it's just a casual everyday product that you can sort of mix into your wardrobe and mix into your outfit in a really sort of fresh inspiring way.